So hello everyone. Today we are going to solve this problem average number. In this problem, chef had a sequence of positive integer of length n plus k. Then he calculated arithmetic average for this sequence and let us denote this average by v. But his little brother deleted k element from this sequence. Now he wants to find the value of these k deleted elements. But it's also given that these k elements which were deleted were having the same value. Now he is left with only n elements. He wants to find the value of these k elements. So we have to find the value of these k, these k elements or we have to state that this value doesn't exist. So let's look at the test cases so that problem statement will be more clear to you. In the first test case, we are given n equal to 3, k equal to 3 and average equal to 4. We are given n equals 3, k equals 3 and average equals 4. And we are given the sequence of size n which is left after deleting k elements which is 2, 7 and 3. Initially there were k more elements which were deleted by his brother. So let us say these were the k elements, these were the 3 elements which were deleted. And we know that the average, arithmetic average of this whole sequence was 4. So let's assume that the elements which were deleted were having value 1. So what's the arithmetic average for this sequence? Arithmetic average for this sequence will be 2 plus 7 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1 and plus 1 divided by the total number of elements which is n plus k which equals 6. This will be 10, 12, 13, 14 and 15 divided by 6. Since this is not an integer value, this is not an integer value. So this cannot be our answer. One cannot be our answer. So let us assume that the elements which were deleted were having the value 3. Let us assume. So in this case, we were having the arithmetic average as divided by the overall number of elements, which is 6. This will be 12, 14 and 21 divided by 6, which is also not an integer value. So this cannot be our answer. Let us assume the value of the deleted element to be 4. Now the arithmetic average Now the arithmetic average will be 24 divided by 6 which equals 4 and we are we were given that the average that the average arithmetic average of this sequence is 4 so our answer is the deleted element was 4 so i hope this test case is clear to you now let's look at the approach for this problem suppose that we are given a sequence of n elements which were a1, a2, a3 and then so on till an. Let's also write the deleted elements which were an plus 1, n plus 2 till n plus k. Now we were given the average of this whole sequence as v. So average of this sequence will be a1 plus a2 plus a3 and then so on till an plus a n plus 1 plus a n plus 2 till a n plus k divided by the overall number of elements and the overall number of elements are n plus k. It is given to us that the arithmetic average of this sequence is v. So we know that we can since the, this sequence is given to us since this sequence is given to us we can calculate this sum. So let's denote this by variable sum plus these elements which were n plus 1 till n plus k. And let's take this n plus k to the other side. V multiplied by n plus k. Since we are also given n and we are also given k, we can also calculate this value and we are also given b. So let's take this sum also in the RHS. 
so this sequence will be n plus 1 n plus 2 n plus k equals v multiplied by n plus k minus sum so this is the equation we are getting so what is this value what is the this sum denotes this sum denotes the sum of the deleted elements so now we know the sum of deleted elements but we also know that the these elements were having the same value so i can write them as x let us denote these every element were having the same value equals x so let us assume that a n plus 1 equals a n plus 2 equals a n plus k which equals x let us assume that so this will be x plus so this will be so the equation in the rhs will remain same so this will be k multiplied by x since we are adding x k times which equals this equation in the rhs and now as we want to find the value of this x what we can do is take this k to the rhs so this equation the final equation will be divided by this k so this is our final equation what's this x this x is the deleted elements value and now we have to take care of the case when this x is not when this x cannot be calculated well this x cannot be calculated if this value in the rhs if this value is positive and is also integer value then only we can calculate our x otherwise we cannot calculate our x otherwise the output of the solution will be minus 1 so i hope this solution is clear to you now let's move on to the c++ coding part so for each test case we are taking input three values which are n k and v then we have initialized a variable sum which equals zero which is to calculate the sum of all n values and then we have initialized the variable x with this value this is this value is nothing but this value this value which we have written over here now we have to check if this value is greater than 0 and it's divisible by k then only we are going to print our answer which is x divided by k otherwise we are printing minus 1 i hope this solution is clear to you and thank you